Ahoy, ahoy, Aractus is coming. That's the big Irish dance competition at the end of the year. That means I need to go from looking like this to looking like this. So what that hair piece is, instead of a full wig, it's like a three-quarter fall. And normally you'd blend that in and anchor it onto your hair, but I, I don't have a ton of that anymore. But I'm going to show you a way to do that that does not require too much of your own hair. This is for Irish dance, but it will work for any other time you might wear a, a hair piece like this for theater, dance, cosplay, beauty pageant, girls night out. Let's get going. My hair is really fine and slippery, so to prep it and get a little more texture, I add some pomade and some dry shampoo. Next, I section off my hair into pieces at the front and the sides. I also did a little ponytail at the top of my head. If you want more height, you can put a donut on top of that and then add a hairnet to anchor the pins into. So this stretchy band here is really the secret for being able to get the wig securely onto my head without having a lot of hair to anchor it into. You want to get the band very secure on your head with many, many bobby pins. And then once that's on, you're going to blend your hair over it and pin the wig into the band. I'm styling my puff with more dry shampoo. It's hard to tell what I'm doing here, but I'm going to twist it up and around and actually pin it into the band itself just to have something more to anchor that little bit of hair into. I only like to use the hairspray as a finishing product. It doesn't really give the grip that you get from the combination of a pomade or a wax, something sticky like that, and also the dry shampoo. And here's what I was talking about with blending my hair up and over the band and pinning it into place. The band won't get totally covered by my hair, but once the wig and the tiara and everything is in place, you won't be able to see it at all. More hairspray! Be sure to let that set before putting on the wig so that you don't smoosh everything while the product is still wet. When putting on the wig, make sure that the combs go up and under the band in the front and in the back. If your wig doesn't have combs, go ahead and sew that in. That's gonna be a lifesaver. I'm serious. Like, pause the video and go sew some combs into your wig right now. I put a few extra pins just on the sides of my wig there to help secure it. Again, I'm going into the band, kind of over my hair and into the band and through the wefts of the wig to make it nice and secure. I also like to do them in pairs that are crisscrossed so they hold each other in place. And there you go. It's easy. I guess with Christmas coming up, it's fitting that I kind of look like the heat miser. So if you'd like to see more costuming related videos, you can subscribe and you could watch one that's going to be over here or over here. I don't know what choice editing Gan is going to make. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go wash all this product out of my hair. Bye now.